Hey guys, I got a lot of requests on this video. How did I make this animation? I ended up using GeoGebra, which is a free resource online. Anybody can make this. So for the first step, we don't want this axis or this grid in the background. So we'll click here, get rid of show axis and change show grid into no grid. So that cleans up the background. Then we go to tools and we're gonna find segment. There it is right there. And we're gonna draw a horizontal segment. And then we want to draw a square off of here. Next, we have to click on more. And then under polygons, we're going to click on regular polygon. And then we'll click on this point and then this point. And it says four vertices. We hit OK. And it makes a square off of the segment. And next, we want to create the line that we're going to drag our point on. So we'll find line right here. And we're going to connect these two points right here. And we also want to do a line from here to here. And now we can put the point that we're going to drag up and down on this line. So we'll find point, and we're just going to put a point on this line. And if we click on move, we can drag that point along this line. And this is what we'll actually drag in the visualization. Next, we want to create the square based on this point. So we're going to find perpendicular line, click on that. We'll click on this line and this point. And then we want to put a point right here where they intersect. So we'll put a point right there. So now as we drag this point, that point's going to go with it. And then we want to create the square off of there. We're going to go to polygons and click on regular polygon. We'll click on this point and this point. And then we still want four vertices. So we'll hit OK. And now we have this square right here. And we can move this point and see the square is just follows wherever we put the point. And then in the original figure, it was actually a rectangle that was twice as wide as the height. So let's put another square right here. And then we can do that by going to polygons, regular polygon. And we'll click here, here, and OK. And now we have our full rectangle. So you can see this start to take shape of what matches the video. Next, we want to make the triangle. So we'll go to Polygon Tool, and we're going to make a polygon. And the triangle is defined by this point, this point, and then we finish the polygon. Now it really looks like the video. You can see how we have the square and the triangle both being formed. So now it's pretty much done. We just got to clean things up and make it look visually nice. Click on this button, and then we can click on this line, click here, Settings, and then we unclick Show Object. So now that line has vanished. And then we can do the same thing for this line right here. Go to settings and then give it a show object. And that line's gone. And let's do the same thing for this line, settings, show object. And you're gonna do that for everything that we don't need for the final. And I'm gonna fast forward real quick as I clean it up. So now we got rid of the lines and those squares, but we need a rectangle here. We can make that with segments. We'll click on segment. We'll click here to here, here, and here to here. And now we have our rectangle, our square, and our triangle. Next, let's get rid of all the labels. You can do that by clicking on the label, clicking on the AA here, and just get rid of show label. And you can do that for all of these. AA, show label. Just click on all the labels, and we'll manually get rid of all of them. And I'll fast forward again real quick. Some of these are kind of stubborn, so I'm zooming in. So we can find them. But we got another one right and the last is this one. So that's all the labels now gone. And next we can get rid of these points we don't need. So we're not going to delete the points. If you delete them, then we'll lose the properties they're holding. But if we click on them and go into settings, we can just get rid of the objects. And I'm going to hide all the points except this one we're going to click on. Now we got rid of all those points. So we just have this one point left. I don't like the size of this point. So to shrink it, we'll click here and we're just going to drag it and make it smaller. So it's less visible, but we can still click on it and drag it. Now, the very last thing we need to do is just change the colors. We can click on the square, click on the color, and we can just make it darker. And then we can click on this triangle, same thing, change it. Let's make it red and let's make it darker. And there it is. And then last, you do a screen record, click here, move your mouse out of the way, and you can see how we make that animation. And you can make a couple other changes to make it visually look the way you want. This is basically how I did the animation. How exciting.